Hi everyone, welcome to Function Pilates. I'm Vanessa Kelly, master trainer and studio owner of Function Pilates located in Tempe, Arizona. In today's video, I'm gonna walk you through a default series of beginner exercises to place in your full body integration category. I'm working on a balanced body piece of equipment and the default spring series I have is one red and one blue, which should equal one and a half springs if you're working on a different model. I understand as a student, this can be overwhelming and challenging as you're piecing together exercises for your clients. In these videos, I am here to help and assist you through the process. So if you do like the videos, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and I hope to have you along the journey. Diving right into down stretch, set your client up with feet fully supported against the shoulder blocks and hips pressing forward so that they are positioned in line with the rest of the body. Think kneeling plank. With two straight arms, cue your client to press away from the foot bar as they exhale. On the inhale, encourage them to slowly drag the carriage back to the starting position. Be observant that their shoulders are rolled back and they are keeping an open chest. Think showing off that brand new diamond necklace or showing off that bow tie for your men. The main muscle focus are the back extensors and the core. If you think about pushing a shopping cart, the muscles just below the armpit are what should activate in order to create shoulder stabilization. Remember, the core is made up of the pelvic floor, diaphragm, transverse abdominis, which is the deepest ab stabilizer, and the multifidus, which is the deepest back stabilizer. From downstretch, transition your client carefully to elephant. Ideally, we want heels against the shoulder blocks, but take into consideration the client's height and or if they already have very tight hamstrings. Their heels should be flat against the mat, so position the feet correctly. Now, it's important to let your client know that in order to execute the exercise correctly, there will be no movement from the upper body. The hinge should facilitate from the hips as they inhale to push the carriage back and exhale to bring it forward. Depending on the client's posture, it may be more to their advantage to work in a neutral flat spine. Emphasize the belly button lifting up towards the ceiling, shoulders down, fingertips reaching straight ahead. Allow them to visualize a string lifting their tailbone to the ceiling. And that concludes the beginner full body integration series. Follow me into the arm category next. 